Hi, this is Dr. Ann Louise with a message today, and that message is get the sugar out. Now that's quite a message for you to hear because we're, we're listening more and more to all of the research that's being connected to this new epidemic called diabetes as well as metabolic syndrome. And what we're finding is that sugar is one of the key underlying factors that can upset triglyceride levels, that can upset your waistline, that can also make blood sugar levels go up and down. And it's also important to understand that sugar is related to over 60 different ailments that you would never consider have a real metabolic basis, like acne, the loss of hair, as well as problems with dementia and foggy thinking. So getting the sugar out is probably the most important thing you can do in your life when it comes to making one small step in the right direction for health. And what I'd like to suggest is that if you're going to be a sugar detective, you start looking at labels right from the get-go, whether you're in a grocery store or even the health food store, because you're going to be very surprised to see that there's a lot of sugar, no matter how you spell it and how you guise it and disguise it, that is now listed on so many labels. As long as a sugar ingredient is perhaps number five on the list, in other words, you can have five ingredients, but the sugar has to be the fifth one, then you're pretty much home free. But if you've got a product in which the first two ingredients are something like sucralose, which is an artificial sugar that may have ramifications for a blood sugar later down the line, as well as fructose or maltose or mannitol or even xylitol, then anything that ends in an OSC or OL is either a sugar or a sugar alcohol that we are now learning really may tempt your sweet tooth, even though it may not have as many calories as regular sugar. So you have to become a food detective. Now in my book, Get the Sugar Out, uh, I give you 501 easy tips to get the sugar out and I tell you what to do for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, tell you how to get some of your favorite recipes and make them sugar free but equally as delicious and I also tell you what to do in terms of rating your sugar and your foods in terms of how many sweet tooths it contains. What we know is you never want to ingest a food that is more than four grams of sugar. And we know it's also important that if you're going to be taking something sweet, you also balance it with the macronutrients of protein and fat so that your blood sugar levels remain steady and don't do any of their peaks and valleys that then get you into too much blood sugar and then not enough. So I would say in light of all the information that's coming out these days about sugar, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and even the latest information that we've just learned about Paula Dean and her type 2 diabetes, that Get the Sugar Out is a wonderful book for all of us, whether we have type 2 diabetes like Paula Dean or want to prevent it from occurring. So Get the Sugar Out, that's my message for the day, and have a very sweet rest of your day.